What is involved in JY Enterprises LLC creating an instructional HTST video with voiceover and asset images for your facility? We start with a copy of your HTST PNID. We convert your PNID to an instructional PNID format. We create an asset listing to identify each component in your HTST. We attach the asset numbers to the corresponding asset on the instructional PNID. We use a copy of your streaming diagram to determine the temperatures and flow. We insert the product flow and temperatures on the instructional PNID. We travel to your plant to take pictures of all HTST assets. We work with your operators to gain an understanding of your HTST operation. We update the asset listing with your asset images. We develop and record a voiceover describing the process of your HTST. The voiceover and your asset images are added to the instructional video. The following is a sample of an HTST instructional video with voiceover and asset images. Asset 44. The holding tube is where pasteurization actually occurs. The raw milk is held at or above the legal pasteurization cut-in temperature of 161 degrees for the legal minimum holding time of 15 seconds in the holding tube. Pasteurization temperature is set at 175 degrees on this HTST. Asset 45. The digital reference thermometer sensor monitors the temperature of the raw milk at the end of the holding tube and sends it to the digital reference thermometer. Asset 46. The digital reference thermometer displays the legal and official temperature of the raw milk leaving the holding tube. This temperature must be higher than, but within one degree of the temperature recorded on the safety thermal limit recorder. Asset 47. The safety thermal limit recorder sensor monitors the temperature of the raw milk as it leaves the end of the holding tube and sends it to the safety thermal limit recorder. Asset 48. The safety thermal limit recorder generates a legal record of all HTST operations. This is where the set point for the cut-in temperature of 174.5 degrees and the cut-out temperature of 173 degrees are located. The cut-in and cut-out set points control the position of the flow divert valve and the leak detect valve. When the cut-in temperature is reached, the flow divert valve will be energized, shifting it into forward flow. When it is shifted fully into forward flow, the green light on the safety thermal limit recorder will be on and the event pen on the outer edge of the recording chart will move up, indicating that the flow divert valve is fully energized. If the temperature drops below the cutout temperature set point, the flow divert valve and the leak detect valve will shift back into diverted flow immediately. When this happens, the green light will go out and when the flow divert valve has shifted fully into diverted flow, the event pen will go down and the red light on the safety thermal limit recorder will come on, indicating that the flow divert valve is fully in diverted flow. The booster pump can only run when the flow divert valve is in forward flow, so it will shut down if the flow divert valve shifts into diverted flow. Asset 49. The flow divert valve is a critical control point of the HTST. It separates the raw milk from the pasteurized milk. In diverted flow, it is de-energized, and the flow goes from the discharge end of the holding tube into the center port of the flow divert valve and out the bottom port as it returns back to the balance tank through the diverted flow line. When in forward flow, the flow divert valve is energized and the flow goes out the top port of the flow divert valve and into the center port of the leak detect valve. The milk is legally pasteurized when it leaves the flow divert valve out the top port. Asset 51. The sight glass is located in the leak detect line that goes from the bottom port of the leak detect valve back to the balance tank. If the flow divert valve is in diverted flow and the top seal leaks, the leaking raw milk flow will go into the center port of the de-energized leak detect valve and out the bottom port. If this happens, the raw milk flow will go through the sight glass. When the operator sees this, they must immediately shut the HTST down and repair the leaking flow divert valve. Asset 50. The leak detect valve has a delay of between 1 and 5 seconds after the flow divert valve is energized before it will be energized. This is to allow the area between the flow divert valve and the leak detect valve 
to be flushed of any raw milk that might have leaked into this area with the pasteurized milk. After the area between the flow divert valve and the leak detect valve has been completely flushed with pasteurized milk going back to the balance tank, the leak detect valve will be energized and shift into forward flow. The flow will then leave the top port of the leak detect valve and go into the pasteurizer generator section. If you are interested in having an instructional HDST video created for your training library, or if you would like additional information, contact Joe White at either joewhite at jyenterprises.com or call 423-539-8664.